Look in the toilet! Congratulations, Princess! You got your first period! Yeah, now when I fuck, babies will come out. I tell you about calling here, son. You're nothing but a worthless bum. I want nothing to do with you. What? Loan you some money? What a joke. You're in perfect health. You get yourself a fucking job and take care of your own self. That's right. You learn to take care of your own self. No one's gonna help you. Take care of yourself. Now I have to brush my dog's teeth. Goodbye. Fuck you, dickhead. Brush your dog's fucking teeth. Let your son sleep under a fucking bridge like a troll. Ah, shit, now I gotta take a shit.
Spock. Spock! Cliché, mattress land. Um, well, like, uh, have you guys got any uh, mattresses from the top of the year that, like, you couldn't sell and you want to give away? You know, so you can make room for the new mattresses this year? Oh, you don't? Well, I was just checking. But when God gives you a lemon, make lemonade. Fucking snowman, you're not gonna get away this time. and potatoes? I can't take it anymore.
fuck? I forgot my watch. Happy holidays. Do you need to give anybody a Christmas present? I'll give you a special deal on anything on this towel. Really? Yep. Everything must go. Browse around. What's this? This is a penis cozy, better known on the streets as a cock sock. This is a perfect gift. You put your dick in here and your balls in here and to keep them toasty warm on a cold winter's night. Uh, no, that won't fly, man. Like the gifts for my dad and that'd be inappropriate, you know? You know what? You're absolutely right, sir. How about this? Oh, that's cute as a button. Yeah. It's one in a million, and as American as apple pie. You know what? If you don't want to walk on thin ice, give him that. It'll cut the ground from underneath him. I don't know. He's a little wet behind the ears, and... He's nutty as a fruitcake from waking up the chicken. Hmm. Oh! How about a brand new nice cell phone? Oh, now we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Shit, there just ain't enough time. Hey, don't get cold feet. A gift like this is as solid as the ground we stand on. Hmm, well... I'm going with the bowling ball. Excellent. But there's one thing to remember when buying a present. Don't try to do a lot where there's little to do. Hey, uh, cut to the quick. Okay. Let's call it $5.99. What? I didn't know it was going to cost an arm and a leg. I thought it was going to be dirt cheap. Oh, man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. The best I can do is $5. Okay, hold on. Wow, uh, man. I don't have as much as I thought I had, man. I'm not, not getting any business lately, man. Times are really tough. Oh, uh, shit. It don't look like I'll be getting any presents. Ah, oh, this sucks, man. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Hey, I didn't see that. Are you all right? Well, here's your first lady. Watch out for those jobbers now, okay? You get hurt out here. Hey, do you take credit cards? Bye, Brian.
Hey. Hey, all right. Good Thanks. dinner. Hey, any phone calls today? It's your stinking homeless brother. Oh, God, I wish he'd die. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, what's going on? What are you guys up to tonight? Yeah, no, I can't, I can't come out. I have this horrible back pain. Must have slept on it wrong. Ice it? Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I have some ice in there. I'm gonna take it easy tonight. Alright, yeah, but give me a call next weekend. Okay. All right, bye. Hey. Yeah, did you put something in my fucking freezer? No. You're kidding, right? No. Oh my god. Man, I went to go get some ice and there was a fucking, some weird piece of meat wrapped up in paper. And it said hi on it. What kind of meat? Oh my god. That, wh I'm kidding. fucking freaked out. What is this? I didn't do it. Will you come look at this? Hold on. Let the window down. Fucking thing. Beats the shit out of me. Somebody put it in there. What do you mean? Who? Who's coming in my fucking trailer when I'm not here? That's why you gotta lock your trailer door. One of your friends put it in there. It's no big deal. Just dump it. It was locked, Dad. I'm fucking telling you. What the fuck? Somebody's got a key or something? Your fucking derelict brother, Ronzoni, did it. Ronzoni doesn't have a fucking key, does he? He probably got a key made when he was staying here for a while. And then he got mad when we threw him out in the cold. It's a, some kind of trick. Just shit can it. Dump it. Okay, you're right. God, fucker. All right, Dad, I'll see you tomorrow night. All right, sleep tight. Yep.
Oh, hey, Princess. You ready for your bedtime story? Yes, Papa. Sue walked out onto the patio and noticed Donnie was lost in a daydream. What are you thinking about, baby? Don chuckled. The old days. Sue took his hand in hers and kissed it sweetly. They were wild, weren't they? It's hard to believe they're gone. Donald started to cry. I miss them, Sue! He put his face in her breast and weeped like a little child. There, there, honey, don't cry, replied Sue. A stray dog walked up and stared at them for a sec before letting out a barrage of barks. Get the fuck out of here, mud, screamed Sue. The dog didn't budge. I'll smash your fucking head in with a fire stoker if you don't get your stinking ass out of here, shithound. The dog kept barking like he hadn't understood a word she said. Sue ran inside. Little thing screamed, No, Sue, don't hurt him. He's just a dog who's escaped from his condo. Sue ran back out with the big iron fire stoker and pounded the dog's skull until it was dead. Donald looked on in complete horror. He knew his beautiful wife had done something really terrible and was going to have to be jailed for it. Hey. It's a long road to hold, Joe. What's that? It's a long road to hold. Hey, Dad. Oh, boy. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ah, oh, Dad, you don't mean that. I told you to never step foot in the trailer park again. You're as useful as a lead balloon. Yeah, hey, Rome wasn't built in one day. Have a heart. Tomorrow's Christmas. If it's not one thing, it's another. Get the fuck out of here. I never promised you a rose garden. But, but I got you a present. Present? Where'd you get it? Hey, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn sometime. Open it, open it! Wow, a bowling ball. That's what I've always wanted. Well, son, this is a surprise today. But it doesn't excuse you from your stinking pranks and being a no good son. My stinking pranks? What do you mean? Oh, don't play dumb runs, Oni. You put that weird meat in Agatha's trailer. You owe her an apology. And I want that spare key back right now. Um. I don't know what you mean by putting weird shit in her trailer. I don't have a key. Uh, I don't know nothing about that meat. I know uh, there's no comfort in the truth because that's what I'm telling you. You're a no good fucking liar. So what goes around comes around. Now get out of here. You're as useless as fucking tits on a bull.
fuck, every time I come around here, I'm as welcome as a skunk at a lawn party. Uh, can ever we let bygones be bygones around here? No. With you, it's like closing the barn door after the horse escapes. Worthless. Get out of my fucking sight. Yeah, things have been shitty lately, but a year, a good year is determined by its spring. <laughs> See you later, asshole. You fell out of the ugly tree and you hit every branch on the way down. Yeah, well, if dumb was dirt, you'd be about an acre. Look who's talking. You can't tell your ass from your elbow. You think you're the best thing since little apples, you know? You're as common as dirt. Yeah? You look like something the cat dragged in. I'll go take a long walk up a short pier. Hey, hit the fucking road. You're as dense as a London fog. Hunker down, you running dog lackey. Oh, boy. You just bit off more than you can chew. Shit, I could whip you with one arm tied behind my back. What? You can't hit the broad side of a barn. Oh, Dad, no! You've got too fucking far, you motherfucker. Please, Dad, no! Leave me alone! Hey, fuck you, punk! I'm gonna call the cops right now and have you arrested for assault and battery and trespassing. No, Dad, no! Go! I'll, I'll leave! Please! Oh, fuck you! Stay out of me! What the fuck's going on? Where'd this fucking thing come from? I don't know. Wait a way the fucking time. I think my ribs are broke. Hold still, I'll get it off you. Fuck, it won't budge, Ronzoni. Shit, it just fell out of me from out of nowhere. From out of nowhere? What do you mean? It had to come from somewhere, it didn't just fall out of the fucking sky. It must have because all of a sudden I was standing there and then a boom, it fell out of the sky and knocked me on my chest. Story, but I'll get to the point. This thing weighs a ton and we can't get it off of me, and I'm in deep shit. Yeah, look. Well, Dad, why don't you try taking out what's in the fucking thing? They're squashing me to death. I'm sorry, Ronzoni. But believe it or not, it's completely empty. Boy, I'm, I'm between a rock and a hard place, but I'm trying to remain calm. Yeah, don't worry, Ronzoni, because worry often gives a small thing a big shadow. That's right. We'll figure out a way to get you free. There's nothing new under the sun. Well, I guess I was lucky to be alive. This thing's so heavy it could have crushed me to death. It's better to bend than to break. Yeah, but you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Hey! Don't reinvent the wheel! Good night, Ronzoni. Good night, Ronzoni. Oh, poor Ron 
Zoni. It's freezing out there. I won't phase him. He's been sleeping in the great outdoors for years. It's a fucking roustabout. You remember when he was all clean cut, installing satellite dishes? Yeah. I remember when he installed one for the people who live behind the trailer park here. I watched him from that doorway right there. God, I was so proud of him. After he finished, and he climbed down that ladder, I thought to myself, your balls made a good one, old boy. Your balls made a good one. But then he started sowing his wild oats on speed. A fucking moron. What could be keeping that box on Ronzoni's chest? There's nothing in it! I have no idea. Yeah, I know, but what are we going to do? We can't let Ronzoni stay under that box forever. Come on, we've got to do something, Dad. All right, all right. I'll call a detective in the morning and he'll get to the bottom of it. Good news, daughter. Even though your mother has moved out and she will not be returning, she's agreed to mail me the baby she's having next week. Great. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? A boy. And I'm going to name him Ronzoni. Can you imagine the joy he's going to bring to our home? Yes. He will bring unbelievable joy to this home. Can you imagine the happiness he's going to bring to our lives? Yes, he will bring unbelievable happiness to our lives. Why do we have two living rooms? We don't. This is the living room and the other one's the den. My bad. Want to go upstairs to the room that shall be Ronzoni's and dance to christen it? Sure. get you this time. Well, Detective Vancouver, what do you think? Shit, we got a real barn burner. Well, can you solve it? To be honest with you, the mysteries that I usually solve, uh, nothing like this. I don't even know where to begin. Shit. Then Ronzoni's fucked, right? I mean, as far as detectives go, you're the only game in town. Yeah, for normal shit we solving, uh, supernatural, there's Kenneth. Really? You mean he only deals with this particular sort of thing? Exclusively. You know, for me, you're barking up the wrong tree. I just usually bust uh, cheating lovers and shit like that. Really? Any good stories? 
Yeah, just last week, I uh, some old broad hired me, and I was uh, to trail her old man, and because he had been coming home late and stuff like that, you know. Just last week, I waited outside his his uh, work with the digital camera, and uh, I followed him to this motel called Bless My Bloomers. That motherfucker gets out of his car, knocks on the door, and what do you think? Opens up and greets him with a kiss. <laughs> Uh, naked chink midget with bright red balls. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Step over there a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be around there in about five minutes. All right. Yeah. You know, when I showed that footage to his wife, she just cried and cried. And she said, All the flowers of tomorrow are in the seeds of yesterday. This is Kenneth's number. You give him a call and he'll solve this shit for you. All right, thanks, Dan. Hey, uh, home is home, and be it ever so humble. Listen, I've had enough of this fucking Ronzoni in his box. Let him lay out there for a day. Be good for him and teach him a lesson. Me and you get a nice motel room with a cement bath. Take a nice long hot bath. You get one fucking minute of hot water in these tin can trailers. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds great. I've never been in a real cement bathtub. And always kick it in the buns That's how you avoid getting pregnant and still have fun Or the mosh pit abortion has to come Testing three, testing four, testing three B-U-T-T-F-U-C-K-I-N-G Without a condom in a papaya tree Mosh pit abortion, hear it scream oh, I get a man, I keep a damn dog oh, I get a man, that's when I grew up oh, Testing five, testing four A psychiatrist, show me what her asshole's for So she don't get pregnant anymore and have to score Heroin cupcakes to a boy Testing five, testing six, testing five Only jerk I've been on condoms to stay alive It's a waste of fucking money and a waste of fucking time Get a must put abortion on their dime Oh, I got a man to give a dick dog
room escort service. On your remote control, press plus 100 for a man or A slash B for a woman. Fee will be automatically charged to your room. Be your escort for tonight. Uh, I'm Agatha, but wait, what? What is this going to cost? I thought this was some kind of bullshit. No, this is in-room escort service. It's forty dollars an hour. All right. Hola, lista de con a vasistas at el postino y atamo corazón. Wow, I love that song. But what do the words mean? It means the postman loves cockroaches. I got a camera. You know, if you wanted to uh, film any kind of lewd activities. Oh, hey, let's make an anti-porno. How was the reservation process efficiency? Poor. When did you arrive at the hotel? Poor. Will you marry me? Yes.
Well, time is up. Call me again next time you're in town. Bye, Agatha. Nobody but that fucking Ronzoni. He got out from under the box somehow and he left us a box of his fucking turds. He's gonna get it this time, Agatha. I'm gonna track his fucking ass down. This is it. And that Ronzoni is the scum of the fucking earth. I'd like to take those turds that he squeezed out into that perfume box and smear them all over his fucking face. I'd like to cram them right back up his motherfucking ass. That piece of shit, that was the last straw. Man, did you see that turd on the left? That was where the deodorant was supposed to be? Ugh, that was a real hobo log. It's a fucking animal. When it really gets my goat, I like to take that fucking bowling ball he gave me and smash his fucking brains out with it. Man, I wonder how he got out from under that box and where he is right now. 
Idle hands are the devil's workshop. He's probably in some field right now, knee high to a grasshopper. But come hell or high water, I'm going to find him and break his neck. Don't that just butter your grits? I mean, we put our best foot forward, tried and true, fish nor fowl. And how does he repay us? With two chunks of his rotten feces. God, it's true. You are what you eat. Did you see those crap sticks? Oh, good boy. That smells good. That was derelict duty and nothing but. That's the kind of turgy shit when you've been dining in dumpsters for a year. Man, that sure was a feast for sore eyes. You know, you should know which side your bread is buttered on. He really fucked up this time. I wouldn't help him out again for all the money in the world. Me neither. Three strikes and you're out. You give them an inch and they take a mile. Oh well, let's just forget about it. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Anyways, I want to give you your present. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm gonna go play this with Mr. Trot right now. Hey, stop and smell the roses. Mr. Trot, are you decent? Yeah, come on in. My daughter gave me this pin to tail on the donkey game for a Christmas present. You want to play? Not for all the tea in China. Why not? I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I got you. You're down in the dumps. I'm under the gun. Hmm. You should try to nip it in the bud. I can't. I got dropped like a hot potato. By who? My old lady. I got brought down to earth. Don't let it fuck with you. Marriage is for the birds. I thought it would be all fun and games. Yeah. Love is blind. You know, now that I think back on it, I was always walking on eggshells. I understand. Me and my wife were always fighting like cats and dogs. Yep. She wanted me to do everything at the drop of a hat. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? No, I'm sorry. I was thinking about the last thing my old lady said to me as she was walking out the door. She yelled, you can't fit a square peg in a round hole. Yeah, the last thing my old lady said to me was, too many chefs spoil the broth. Unbelievable. Why would she leave me? I mean, you know me pretty good, Mr. Trod. What's not to like? I don't know, Joe, but who cares? You're free as a bird. That's right. Who needs her? I could never get a word in edgewise. Garbage in, garbage out. Yep. Good women are few and far between. That's it, in a nutshell. 
Boy, what a pack rat that dame was. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I was always neat as a pin, knock on wood. That's the kiss of death. That's why my wife went with a horse of a different color. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, but it's over now. Yep. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. That's right. And only the strong survive. Absolutely. And that's why today I washed my hands of the whole matter. Fantastic. Keep your head above water. I will. But I'll tell you, I got the shit end of the stick. <laughs> so did I. But every garden may have some weeds. Yep. But I'll tell you one thing, every dog has his day. That's right, and he who sows virtue reaps fame. Yep, give a little, take a little. That's right, I've been married twice. You know what they say, the third time's a charm. Yeah, but I'm no spring chicken. Hey, neither am I. But if the shoe fits, wear it. That's right. But if the right lady came around, I'd marry her in two shakes of the lamb's tail. That's the spirit. Boy, if the right gal came along, I'd be like a kid in a candy store. Speak for yourself. I need that like I need a hole in the head. Yeah, maybe you're right. That last marriage, whew, I got out by the skin of my teeth. Well, you're cooking with gas now. Yep, I'm firing on all cylinders. That's right, Joe. You know, nice guys finish last. Well, back to the salt mines. All right, Joe, but remember an apple a day keeps the doctor away. All right. Don't let any grass grow under your feet. Remember, don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah, I won't. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Fucking snowman! I'm gonna get you this time. The rug is too big for this room. Yeah.